Could the smoke from Western fires contribute to an increase in Alzheimer's disease and dementia? Scientists have discovered a correlation, but more research needs to be conducted, and you can help. You're watching the Local News Network, brought to you by Kreger's Ace Hardware in Durango and Choice Building Supply Ace Hardware in Cortez. I'm Wendy Graham Settle. Scientists continue to build greater understanding about the causes of dementia and Alzheimer's disease in an effort to find a cure. And you can help get them closer by participating in the Walk to End Alzheimer's Disease on Saturday, September 25th in both Durango and Farmington. Hosted by the Four Corners Alzheimer's Initiative, the Farmington event will start at 9 a.m. with registration at Berg Park. The Durango event starts at 10 a.m. at the Rotary Park Gazebo. The event is free, but walkers are encouraged to raise donations to support local educational programs and free services in the area. Donors who contribute $100 or more will receive a walk t-shirt. Donations also support critical research about the disease. We are really coming close to having that blood test that you can walk into your doctor's office, have a simple blood test, and find out the results as far as, far as the presence of amyloid or tau on your brain. We also are learning that there are groups such as uh, transgender and non-binary which are impacted uh, disproportionately as compared to the general population and why that's happening. Uh, we're learning about, um, let's see, what else? The correlation between air pollution and the occurrence of Alzheimer's and dementia. Not surprising, but now we have the data that there is a correlation, a higher occurrence of Alzheimer's and dementia in areas with high pollution or to individuals that are exposed to high levels of air pollution. Alzheimer's disease and dementia affect 6 million Americans and cost the nation more than $355 million for their treatment and care. That's expected to explode to $1.1 trillion in the next 30 years. You can count on Valco raising funds and walking on September 25th. Alzheimer's has taken eight members from two generations on the maternal side of her family, including her mother, last September. And she knows she's at risk. The walk to end Alzheimer's is a special day. We gather together. We honor those that we've lost to the disease. We show a appreciation, gratitude to those caregivers, both loved ones and professionals. We recognize the advocates in our community that are there in support of us. And then we have one moment when we all recognize that first survivor that we all want and that we all hope for. And it's, so it's really a day for all of us to get together as a community in that hope of one day having that first survivor. You can sign up or make a donation for either the Durango or Farmington event at alz.org. Thanks for watching this edition of the Local News Network. I'm Wendy Graham Settle.